violence, uh, and the you could hear some of the diners as well mooing back at the protesters. Uh, in fact, at the end, the, the protesters leave. They possibly didn't allow, allow for the fact that there was a stag night there, uh, but a lot of lads started mooing as cows and suggesting they leave. Let's turn now to Joey Carbstrong, who's an animal rights activist. Do you support protests such as these, Mr. Carbstrong? Good morning. Okay, so I'm not part of the group Direct Action Everywhere, and they have quite controversial no. um, actions, even within the vegan movement, uh, are considered controversial. That, that's why I'm asking but, you whether um, you support protests such as these. Okay. Yeah, let me let me give you some perspective here. Um, what a yes I or feel no like help. it's a crazy world we live in where vegans have to go to these extremes to persuade people to stop paying for the abuse and murder of innocent animals. Um, so although I don't participate in actions like this, I fully appreciate that vegans are in, some vegans are in a position that they have to go to these extremes. It's a crazy world and. Desperate times call for desperate measures and people just aren't listening and they're making fun of these activists who are speaking up against animal abuse. I mean... Right. So you do support it? I support the message, that's for sure. I mean, do you not agree with the message? We'll come to my views in a moment, respectfully. Do you support the direct action aspect of it? That's what I'm trying to get to. Uh, intervening at a restaurant and showing people the process from which their steak was made? Um... Yeah, I actually right. we got think there eventually. that. I mean, well, I'm not sure if there's a more of a negative outcome or a positive outcome. I mean, you've got me on the radio here to talk about. But what would give you? I appreciate you don't do it, but you said that you appreciate why they do it and you have tacit support for them. What gives people these people such as these the right to disrupt disrupt someone else's evening? Well, what gives uh, human beings the right to subjugate, enslave, and stab to death trillions of animals a year for a stake? I mean, it's been happening since time began and since so the caveman slavery. hunters. So is human slavery. Just because it's traditional doesn't make it moral. Slavery is now quite rightly outlawed. The eating of meat is well, not illegal. Well, let me give you. Let me ask you this: If this was a dog meat restaurant where questions, people were being abused, ahead. let me let me finish. If, if this was a dog meat restaurant where people were eating the chopped up bodies of innocent dogs, and some activists come in there well, and come you, in there let, and let, hey, let, 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 let me finish. Now. Let me give you an example of how to answer a question let because you have trouble with it. That would be wholly wrong because it is illegal to butcher dogs. There is something such as the law which allows people, should they so desire to sit down to a T-bone or a ribeye or a sirloin steak, hopefully uninhindered by rather dreary, loud-mouthed protesters. Hey, is legality the same thing as morality? Is legality the same but thing? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. That's a very broad <laughs> question. Excuse me? Slavery used to be legal. Human slavery used to be legal. Was it moral? I don't think having a steak and chips is quite on the same same uh, grounds excuse as trying to me? enslave half of a continent. You don't have to it's say an excuse me. You can just speak. It's, don't worry. It's an analogy. You're not in school. One sec. One sec. Yeah. One sec, right. They're stabbing innocent animals in the throat in a slaughterhouse, okay? They're choking on their own blood and people are paying for that. And they're more offended by vegans with signs than they are that they're paying for the abuse of innocent animals. They're not more offended, but do you not see that while you have a very valid cause and research shows that more and more people, particularly young people, are coming over to your way of thinking and more and more young people are becoming vegans um, or certainly not becoming meat eaters because of what the, some of these suggestions that you make and certainly the impact it has on the planet, and I absolutely subscribe to that, protests such as this actually set your cause backwards. How do you know? Where's your data? Where's your data? I don't hey, have any excuse, excuse data, me. but what hey, I do know hey, wait, is wait, that a wait a second, wait a second. I'll show you some images of a slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse images don't lie. You seem to think that because I am opposed to people disrupting other people having a night out with their partners, wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever the hell it is, you seem to think, therefore, that I'm in favour of animals being brutally treated. I'm not. Do you, do you eat slaughtered animals? Yeah, sure. Sure. But so I you're in favour for eating slaughtered animals? Am I, uh, yeah, I guess in favour. You support yeah. slaughterhouses? You support the very thing we're against, so how could you be in favour of our cause? Be, be, uh, no, of course I want you to have your cause. I don't agree with it. You, you're eating suffered animals. I am. I've just... What have I had? Oh, no, I've had salmon. I'm sorry. I, I wish I'd had a sausage. I you presume you're against they're salmon, though, as well. The ocean, they're, you're destroying the environment. I mean, it's killing animals, and you're saying you're for our cause. You're taste of the one I just had. It gave itself up, in all honesty. It wasn't particularly good. I think it had had enough of life, to be honest. Not, not but, so funny. I completely support... Not funny. Animal abuse isn't funny. 
People that make fun of animal abuse uh, are not funny. Uh, what I cannot abide is that you, not you actually because you weren't involved in this one, but people like you seem to have you have some loftier moral duty that you have to go in and disrupt other people's lives. Hey, well, animals are being butchered, dude. <laughs> have your protest. Animals are being butchered. Have Animals are being butchered. Have some That's perspective. Not That's not... What is more offensive? M Mr. Mr. What Carpstrom, is more Mr. Offensive? Carpstrom, have your protest on the street as they leave the steakhouse. Have your protest along the pavement. Do what you Don't invade a restaurant. It's simply not fair. Oh, do you want to talk about fairness and justice? It's not fair that we subjugate the most innocent beings on earth. That's not fair. Why are we doing it to them for? Because Why are you participating in this water? water? Because people like the taste of meat. Ah, oh, so taste overrides morality now? I like the taste, it gives me pleasure. Gives me pleasure to abuse the innocent. <laughs> they are being abused. They're being bolt gunned in the skull and slashed across the throat because you like the taste of their flesh. It's what did pig. they ever do to you? It's a pig. It's a pig? Yeah, it's a pig. What, 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 what does that, that mean? mean? It's a pig. It's, it's a dog. It's, bred for the, it would, it's a dog. It would not be here. They are bred. They breed dogs in Newland for meat too. Is that moral? That is illegal in this country, to, to my knowledge, to eat dogs. That's got nothing to do with morality. Illeg legality and morality are two different things. Let me ask you this lastly. Let me ask you this. Are you one of the supporters who also doesn't do thinks sheep should not be sh shorn? Uh, you know, the wool industry murder all those sheep for flesh. J just answer my question. Should sheep be shorn? The wool industry murder all those sheep when they don't produce wool anymore. No, no, just wool answer the question. question. Should you shear a sheep? The only reason they're producing that amount of wool is because they've been selectively bred to produce more wool than uh, natural. Do, so, do you think sheep should be shorn or sheared, whichever you prefer? Do you think slaughterhouses should exist? If so, stop eating steak. <laughs> should sheep... Stop eating steak. You're supporting animal abuse. Do you answer my question, Mr. Carpenter? It's a perfectly legitimate question. The wool industry is morally abhorrent. Morally Why won't abhorrent. you answer yes or no? What's your problem? Animals should not be... Oh, okay, here's, here's your answer. Animals should not be used as products and resources for human beings to exploit. They are not products. So you would not... If you, kept, if you you would not want sheep to be shorn or sheared, whichever you prefer. You would not do it. I do not want animals to be used as resources or products. They are sentient beings. They are not products for you to eat, use and exploit. Right. right. Eat, so when that sheep gets trapped in a bramble bush and it can't get out and it dies, right. that's, that's all right the, then because of the size the of its flesh. That's in the sheep's best interests, okay? Using them for their wool so you can have a sweater and killing them afterwards is not in the sheep's best interest. Just to make sure sheep's that it's in the sheep's interest to get caught in a bramble bush and die. I find that quite... You, and you all, of course, know what dagging is. Do you know what, um, have you ever stood inside a slaughterhouse where sheep are being stabbed in the throat? Right? Speaking as someone who has kept sheep, and speaking as someone who can shear a sheep, can I ask you, do you know what dagging is? I've no idea what dagging is. Dag is when the faeces of the sheep get stuck around its rear end because of the size of the well, fleece. That, that's in the sheep's best interest. Stabbing them in the throat and eating their bodies is not in the sheep's best interest. Just, best interest. Would you just be quiet Why for a moment, sir? Why are you going into this area? On if a, you don't a... dag the sheep, they get what's called fly strike and they die. I have lost a sheep due to fly strike because I didn't dag it soon enough. So the flies attack and they actually gets invaded and they eat into the sheep's anus. I would suggest enjoy your breakfast, everybody. That's why it's a good idea to shear sheep. It's been an interesting time, Joey Carbstrong. Thank you. I'm trying to remember if you answered a question directly. I sense not. They get what's called fly strike and they die. Okay, well. I is steak good for a cow? <laughs> okay, well that's in the sheep's best interest. That's different. That's different. That's a different. That's different. Is 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 it a good idea to eat cows? He wouldn't let me finish this one sentence, would he? I, I don't know what it sounded like on the other end. Whether he was pushing the silence button. We'll have to listen to what. Anyway, let's, I want to watch this back. Let's have a look.